For the last few weeks, I've been playing with miniatures. Well, I've been playing with a lot of miniatures. Lots and lots. This is just a few of what I've printed. I've been testing the Elegoo Mars 4 Ultra for the last month, and in this video, I'm going to explain why I think it's a nearly perfect resin printer and why it's my pick for the best resin printer for you. All right, let's put away my toys. I have the original Mars 4 in the print studio along with the bigger Saturn 3, but I've started to use the Mars 4 Ultra for most of my resin printing thanks to the great updates in this printer. The detail this printer can produce is nothing short of amazing. The resolution on this printer is some of the highest in resin printers. The Mars 4 Ultra really shines with high detail models like this. And this. So okay, let's give this a try. Typical full disclosure, Elegoo sent me the printer, but this is not a sponsored video, though I really wish it were, and they don't get to see this video before you get to see it. They had no input. Okay, with that out of the way, what's new on this printer compared to the older Mars 4? Well, there are some small and some large differences, and combined, they make this Mars 4 Ultra a much nicer printer than the older Mars 4. By far, the most improved aspect on the Mars 4 Ultra is the plate leveling system. The next is something I've really been hoping for, built-in Wi-Fi, so that I can remotely send prints to the printer. The last thing is a much improved interface over the last one. If you're used to filament printers, the relatively small size of a resin printer might surprise you. The Mars 4 Ultra has a print bed size of about 150 mm by 77, and it's 165 mm tall. It's around the size of this delicious chocolate bar. Mmm, delicious printer. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so most 3D printer is about 256 millimeters cube. So that makes a typical filament printer bed about 100 millimeters longer, nearly 200 millimeters wider, and about 100 millimeters taller than this printer. Even the A1 Mini has a bigger print area. But resin printers aren't really known for their size. They're renowned for their ability to capture intricate details. They can print with a level of detail that a filament printer can't do even with a 0.2 nozzle, and the Mars 4 Ultra is no exception. The other thing resin printers are really good at doing is little details sticking off the side of a print. So things like the tail on a horse or horns on a crown, these things are really easy to do with a resin printer and almost impossible to do with a filament printer. So let's start with resolution because resolution confuses a lot of people interested in resin 3D printing. The Mars 4 Ultra features what Elegoo says is a 7 inch 9K resolution mono LCD screen. Elegoo's much bigger Saturn 3 and 4 has a 12K 10 inch display, so that's a higher resolution. Except that it is not. See, resolution is based on the number of pixels per millimeter, or the number of little teeny dots in a specific size. I'm going to skip all the math here because math is hard and that's good for another video. Just know that the Saturn printer has 44 pixels per millimeter and the Mars has 52 millimeters per pixel. That's not a huge difference in resolution, you probably wouldn't even notice it. But when you're shopping, just know that the Mars is higher resolution than the Saturn. The Saturn is bigger, but not higher resolution. Elegoo says that this printer will print at about 150 millimeters per hour, but that's with a specialized and not included ACF release liner on the bed and with the rapid standard resin, which is not available yet. And so 150 millimeters is available only in thought. But there's plenty of new stuff to talk about without talking about what's missing, so let's talk about what's new on this printer, starting with my favorite thing, the new mounting system for the leveling of the build plate. Here's the older Mars 4 plate. To adjust the printer, you have to adjust these two bolts. The problem is that when you loosen them, the bed can move on two axes, so it can go this way and it can go that way. It's really hard to keep the build plate flat because when you hold down the plate to tighten the screws, you end up inevitably pushing on one side more than the other. I had a lot of prints on the Mars 4 that had perfect prints on one side of the bed and no print on the other side of the bed. Also, the older system went out of level every couple of prints. I'd have to level it again right before a big job. That sucked. So here's the new plate. There are four bolts, which is more than two bolts, but the main thing is that the axis only moves when you loosen the bolts in one direction. This. There's no chance that you end up with one side of the plate tilted up. So much better. Like, I'm never going back to the old system kind of better. This next update is another best feature for me, so I have two best features. The Mars 4 Ultra has built-in Wi-Fi. My resin printers are in the basement where I can safely ventilate the fumes. I can't tell you how many times I've gone down to print something and I forgot the thumb drive, or I forget to hit print button after selecting a model on the thumb drive, and I come back hours later and nothing has happened. With built-in Wi-Fi, you can send a print right from Lychee Slicer or Voxel Dance Tango. Lychee Slicer can even automatically find the printer on the network as soon as you set it up. That is super awesome. The downside right now is that you can't monitor the prints like you can with Elegoo's filament printers, which is a bummer, and I hope that they make a tool for this soon. Wi-Fi works with either 2.4 or 5G, 
technology and the ability to use Wi-Fi goes hand in hand with the new processor in the Mars 4, which is running Linux on it. You don't really need to know what processor or operating system is running on your printer, it doesn't help you at all, but just know that the benefit of the increased power is what gives it the ability to run Wi-Fi and the ability to do some of the interface things I'm going to talk about next. There's a new touchscreen that is bright and responsive, and it has this new status display. I can see this from across a room, so when I go to the resin printer room, I can tell at a glance how far along the print job is. Okay, time to eat a bit more print bed. That's <laughs> really good chocolate. Speaking of print beds, the Elegoo Mars 4 has a laser engraved bed, which is supposed to hold the prints better than the previous bed, and it's supposed to release them more easily as well. Your mileage may vary, and I think a lot of people are still going to run some sandpaper over these beds, but it's a nice improvement. The air filter in the Mars 4 Ultra has been upgraded too, but I absolutely do not rely on the tiny air purifier in a resin printer to make sure that my air is not poisonous. There's also a few more minor things that Elegoo has changed. The LCD screen uses a new technology that I frankly do not understand, though I do know some of the words. Experience vertical and uniform exposure of 450 nanomillimeter wavelength beam thanks to the Cobb light source and Fresnel culminating lens, which provides constant curing across the entire build area with less than a 5 degree light angle and 92%. So the TLDR here, more consistent light equals better print. Other quality of life improvements, there's new leveling feet on the bottom like the kind you'd find on the bottom of a dresser. Elegoo also says that the printer has a leak-proof design to keep resin from leaking across the surface. We'll see about that one. You've probably figured out by now that I really like this printer a lot. It's not a big surprise since I liked the last Mars printer a lot too, but there are some things that I grumbled about with that printer. Now those grumbles are really gone. The Elegoo Mars 4 Ultra costs $289 right now, down from $380. I don't know if this is one of those temporary sales or sort of one of those perma sales some of the companies have. The original Mars 4 is $217, down from $279, and normally I tell people if they don't need all the features of a new model to get the older one. But in this case, the Mars 4 Ultra is about 70 bucks more than the Mars 4, and that $70 difference gets you a much easier to use, much better printer. Skip the 4, go right to the Ultra. You can, of course, find links to buy the Mars 4 Ultra in the description below. I've got both the Amazon links and the Elegoo links. They're affiliate links, so if you're going to buy one, please consider buying it from those links, as it helps out enormously because groceries are so expensive these days. I also have a starter video talking about resin printing, which you can find up here if you'd like more information about resin printing in general. Also, let me know if you're printing resin right now, and if not, what are you most interested in about a resin printer? I'll make a video about that. Your doctor called, they said that they have your test results, so you should probably call them, but only after you hit the like and subscribe buttons. For Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss, and as always, thanks so much for giving this a try.